All right, amazing guys. A clear uptrend will be created uh, in a few moments. Uh, so uh, usually I don't trade with the uh, euro pound, but yeah, I did it. I found the signal here and I'm going to take uh, profit. So this is my latest trades. So I've been looking for a signal on euro USD. And unfortunately, I couldn't find one. So I decided to uh, look uh, with yeah, with Euro Pound OTC, and I finally found a beautiful uptrend that I'm going to take advantage from. So yeah, as usual, I'm using the same strategy. My strategy is based on based on four indicators and a couple of uh, chart patterns. Uh, if you are interested in learning binary options from me personally, I invite you to take the course, uh, or you can go to the link in the description of this video, binarystrategycourse.com go to binarystrategycourse.com. So the first trade, so as, as I was saying, the market will create a clear uptrend and it will be green. So a clear, green, beautiful uh, tap signals that I love. Um, for those asking me if they could use uh, my trading strategy with Forex, I'm saying, yes, you could, but the profits are different. So yeah, the effectiveness is different from binary options to forex um because let's face it binary options and forex trading are a total different forms of financial trading there's a lot of differences for example the nature of trading so forex trading uh involves buying one currency while simultaneously selling another with the goal of like profiting from changes in exchange rate Traders make money by predicting whether a currency pair will rise or fall in value. And if it's falling, they will sell. If it's uh, rising, they will buy it. Uh, but binary options is like predetermined. The trader is predicting whether the price of an asset by currency pair. Yeah, the first trade, a green candle, clear green candle. Let me just open the next one. I still believe, yeah, 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 I'm 100%. I'm almost 100% that we will see an uptrend. But just give me a few seconds. This one was the last trade. Yeah, let's go up again with $500. It's going up. Um, so as I was saying, the trader is predicting whether the price of an asset like currency per stock or commodities when it comes to binary options, either with will go up or down within a set period of time if the prediction is correct the trader get like fixed payout it's predetermined and if it's incorrect you will lose the total investment the complete investment uh, it's called binary because there are only two possible outcomes you either win or lose so yeah the differences are large uh, especially with the risk and the reward for, for forex profits and losses are not fixed and depend on the size of the market movements and like the trader's position size like how much money you are putting in on any investment and the profit and losses are depends on that the more the market moves in the trader's favor when it comes to forex the more they can earn yeah, but binary options, um, the payout and risk are predetermined. So the trader knows in advance how much uh, they will win or lose if the market goes in their favor or against them. So there's not a lot of calculations to do there. You either win, like in this case, you win, I don't know, uh, for 84% or you lose 100% of your total investment. Uh, it's typically between 60 to 90 percent so if you see currency pairs that are above 90 percent avoid it and also under 60 percent just avoid that but if your prediction is wrong you will lose the entire investment also the time frame as much is as much We 
you still have a few seconds. Uh, as I was saying, the time frame is different. Um, when it comes to forex trading, it can be done in in short term, like scalping and day trading, medium term, like um, yes, yeah, swing trading. Great. We still have like two or three positions until the end of the the uptrend. Yeah. So this this is was last yeah last week. Almost. Almost the same. But yeah, this is an uptrend, so this means that yeah. So let's open another uh, call position or higher position with five hundred dollars, and let's go back yeah to our subject. So we was talking about the differences between forex and binary option. Uh yes, I was saying forex can be traded on. You can trade forex uh, in short term, medium term, or long term. But uh, yeah, you can even hold a position for. Yeah, for seconds, hours, days, or even months. But binary options is short term. Sometimes it's even fast. It ranges from uh, 30 seconds to uh, a few hours. And once the set time, or yeah, once the set, set time expires, the trade automatically closes. And the outcome is, as I was saying, uh, as I said previously, predetermined also the complexity and strategies are different uh, forex is more complex as it requires analyzing chart using various technical and fundamental analysis tools and uh, yeah it's even requires a lot of management managing positions traders when trading forex must understand factors that affect currency prices out outside of the, the market, so outside of the platform, like fundamental analysis, like economic data. Oh, oh, that's the end, I guess. That's the end of uh, the uptrend. Um, thank God I didn't lose here. Thank God. It's the end. Yeah, yeah. It was clear. I missed it. a candle or two at the beginning. But I guess we, sh we should go down this time, but... This is, will be the last trade because I believe now that the market would try to go below the middle band. But yeah, I guess that's it. Middle band. Yeah. I uh, hope that you learned something, guys. Uh, I'm not giving you any fin financial advices here. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm making these videos for entertainment purposes only. I'm not saying that you make the same amount of money. This is just a simulation of what is possible to be done with binary options. Please be careful when trading binary options. You may lose your money, so educate yourself. Spend time in developing a trading, a good trading strategy. Practice on demo account. Don't use real money. And yeah, I guess I said this is the last, the last trade. Yeah, that's it.